Welcome back to What's Now. This President's Day, the History Channel has a three-night event called Abraham Lincoln. Recently, I had the opportunity to speak with incredible author Doris Kearns Goodwin all about the show and why you need to tune in starting February 20th. Let's take a look. This President's Day, celebrate with the History Channel's three-night documentary event, Abraham Lincoln. Today, I have the distinct honor to speak with Pulitzer Prize-winning presidential historian, Doris Kearns Goodwin, all about our 16th president and this exciting event. Doris, thanks for being here today. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. So tell me more about your role as executive producer in this History Channel three-night documentary event called Abraham Lincoln. You know, what happened is that I'd written a book called Leadership in Turbulent Times, and it takes the leaders from the time they're young, going through a certain adversity, and then becoming the leader they are. So two years ago, this project started with Radical Media and with the History Channel, and we created really what we wanted it to be was the making of a leader, so that you would watch Abraham Lincoln when he's nine years old and his mother has just died. You'll see him when he runs for office the first time and he loses. You'll see mistakes that he's made. You'll emotionally connect with Abe before he becomes Abraham Lincoln. I, and the reason I think we wanted to do that, I was in a college campus and a student raised their hand and said, how can I ever become like Lincoln or, or Franklin Roosevelt? They're icons, they're on Mount Rushmore. It's just it's impossible for me to model myself. We realized if we started when they're young and they make mistakes and they have chutzpah and they don't know what they're doing and they're uncertain and they fail, you can connect to them emotionally by the time they become president. So that's really the, the journey that I think people will take in watching this film. Is there anything that you think will surprise people? There's so much that I think many of us believe we know about Abraham Lincoln, but will this shine some light on some things that we you know, didn't know before? I mean, I hope what people will take away, which I didn't know fully enough until I started living with him a quarter of a century ago, was that his humor was as much a part of his life experience as his melancholy. We know about depressions. I'm not sure people realize the full extent of the depth of the depressions that he went under. One of the scenes and the de developments in the movie will be the idea that he went so deep into a depression that he was suicidal and people took all knives and razors and scissors from their room. But somehow he came through it by believing, I haven't done anything yet to make any human being remember that I've lived. He had an ambition to want to do something worthy so that history would record him well. And then his sense of humor was like a life preserver for him. So you'll see him in the miniseries telling all sorts of stories. He just somehow said that a good story for him was better than, better than a drop of whiskey, that stories were, in a certain sense, whistling off sadness. So I think being able to laugh with Lincoln is not something you might expect, and you'll find yourself laughing with him because he tells these crazy, funny stories time and time again. Oh, that's so true. I wouldn't have expected that either. Oh, this isn't the first time that you've had a book that you've written adapted to the screen. But what are some challenges when you take something that you've worked so hard on and researched so well? How is it difficult to transfer it to the screen? Well, you know, I think the, the positive side of transferring it to the screen is that you're working with a whole team of people so that you can get that collaboration that you don't have when you're just writing alone. But probably more importantly, you know, words you hope when you write them on the page can create an image for the reader of what the person is feeling or thinking or looking like. But then you actually can show that on the screen through the actors, through the conversation, through the dialogues. And there's so many times when I sort of know what my character is going to be thinking and what he's going to be saying. And as long as you can find and make sure that the character is understandable and is true to the person you know through history, and you get as many memoirs and diaries and letters so that you even know how they speak, but then to actually watch them speaking and see them live, it makes it just feel like you've been transported back into that time even more sometimes than the words can do. And I know this is going to be a hard question to answer, but this is a three-night event, a very long series. You've put so much work into this. Is there one part that you're looking forward to seeing the most? You know, I think in some ways the, the one part is the beginning first couple and a half hours because I think then the, the viewer will connect to all the pressures that young Abraham Lincoln was under. And it can make somebody feel, my God, if that character could go through that and be resilient and move forward, maybe it gives hope to younger people watching this or to anybody watching it that when you've gone through adversity, 
Um, Ernest Hemingway once wrote, everyone is broken by life, but afterwards some are strong in the broken places. And I think you see that about Abraham, and then he becomes Abraham Lincoln. So in, even regardless of the history, regardless of the Civil War, watching this person become a leader, I think is the most important thing that people will take away from that. And you have such a large body of work. You've written about so many presidents. You're award-winning. Can I ask you what's next and what you're working on? Yes, I'm working on a book that will have to do with my husband, my late husband who died four years ago, saved everything through his entire life. And he had an extraordinary career with Kennedy and Johnson. And Bobby Kennedy was with him when he died, friendly with Jackie Kennedy. 350 boxes of the 60s. And that's my era, too. So I'm writing really about that period of time, what we went through together, how we knew Lyndon Johnson, how we knew John F. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy. So I've just started, and I think it's going to be an emotional, but I hopefully, hopefully a meaningful project. Oh, very much so. I'm so looking forward to reading that and hearing more about it. And I'm also excited to watch Abraham Lincoln. It begins February 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the History Channel. Thank you so much, Doris Kearns Goodwin, for joining us today. Really grateful that you took the time to talk with us. I'm very glad I could. Thank you.